I'm with Guy Pierce and Felicity Jones to talk about Breathe In, which I just saw this morning to a jammed theater where people had been waiting since four in the morning to see this film at 8.30, which is kind of a great um, testament to already the buzz brewing. Mm -hmm. And the director uh, had won, was it two years ago, for yeah. Like Crazy, mm -hmm. which you were also in. Yes. Um, so Guy, you play a, a musician who's also a teacher. You play the cello. Somewhat in a midlife, midlife crisis, I guess that's kind of a short changing it a little bit, but questioning his life. And you are um, an exchange student from Britain that's also a musician that's kind of struggling with that as well. And kind of the hell that breaks loose, but not. <laughs> what I wanted to talk to you guys about a little bit, just off the top, is there something about the ages? Like, I don't know how old your character is supposed to be. One of the important things that we talked about was not to make it appear like this guy is obviously going through any kind of midlife crisis, mm -hmm. that things are actually mm -hmm. good, you know, family seems strong and that, yeah. and that um, really with the advent of um, Felicity's character, Sophie turning up, the questions start being asked that are mm -hmm. probably close to the surface anyway. Mm -hmm. And as you mentioned, my character's a musician, Let but in. trying to get yeah. back to that youthful, mm -hmm. um, inspired, kind of creative period of, of, of his life that, you know, that he and, and, and Amy sort of lived when they were first sort of married, which I think is really brought up, particularly when Felicity arrives, mm -hmm. you know, the, the sort of youth that's in your, in your face. And you're kind of going, oh, right, there's, there's, like, there's that life I left behind, isn't mm -hmm. there? Oh, mm -hmm. Well, you know. Right, it was like you're, you're not in that cliche. I liked that there mm -hmm. wasn't an overly sexual component. It's a friendship in many ways, mm -hmm. isn't it? It's that they have this connection, obviously, through the music. But, but the whole thing was about it not being just an instant kind of sexual thing. It's something that develops, that, that takes them both un unawares. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What what is it about? And this is your second time working with him. How how do you find it? And what what made you want to kind of explore this character? And I just absolutely love the experience of working with him. It's very relaxed on set. He gives you so much freedom. It's I just mean, great. Yeah, the so camera inspiring. It's will fantastic. be rolling for sometimes twenty minutes, fifteen minutes, and it means that you can constantly find things that are unexpected. It was really nerve-wracking. I mean, obviously Felicity had worked with Drake before and so she was very aware of the process. And it took Drake a little bit to sort of convince me, particularly, I think, um, that, that to convince us that we were gonna feel safe and that this is really the way he wanted to work. But it was really, Drake's, it's not even that he's encouraging and he's enthusiastic, he is all those things, but he, coming from the world that he's come from. I mean, his mother was one of the founding members of the Groundlings, and so mm -hmm. he's been brought up mm -hmm. in the world of improvisation. It's just in his bones. Mm -hmm. So it's just very natural for him to kind of make you feel very comfortable with this idea of going, I'm gonna put the camera on. If you can't think of anything to say for five minutes, don't worry, because that, you know, what you may come up with in five or 10 minutes time may be perfect. Because you don't have the lines to fall back on, I think it means that you, you do feel quite exposed at first, and you just have to give in to it. So there's mm. a, there's a it, when we first started that first week, there is a, a leap mm -hmm. sort of thing. Oh, mm. What the hell are we doing? Mm. Well, this movie's incredible. Breathe in, it's great. And I loved hearing about how I didn't realize that there was that much kind of improv the whole happening thing, the whole thing, basically. like throughout. It was mm. incredible. It was a great experience. And it's gonna be blowing up here anyway. I mean, people are already freaking out about it. So thank you for coming. It's Thanks. great to no see worries. you again, thank you also. Very much.